All right, this is the first drive with 10.3.1 and just driving back home. jerky on the turn there but otherwise no issues and it still seems to like the bypass lanes just like 10.2 so it looks like they haven't applied much effort to fixing that issue abrupt on the brakes there which is a little different than yesterday's 10.3 build which honestly seemed pretty darn smooth when it came to braking and throttle inputs but that was just one occurrence so we'll see how it does the rest of the drive
So you'll see the car struggle here as it's trying to plan the upcoming right turn where that white car ahead is turning. However, because of the way the lane lines are laid out, it really struggles and gets confused as it doesn't want to cross them, and, and rightfully so. So I took over, um, but because we're at our destination, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but just something I wanted to call out. All right, this is part two of my short trip home after having lunch with my wife. so far is it definitely likes to brake really early um, when cars ahead slow down. Very similar to what I was kind of used to before FSD beta with this regular autopilot. And it, for me it always worries me a bit because when you're in you know busier traffic and cars behind you are a little closer and they expect you to be a little closer to the car in front of you. Um, so it's something that I hope, you know, in future releases that they address. And I have to double check too to see if uh, I have the assertive FSD profile on. Let me see here. Yeah, and I'm on assertive too, so, you know. To me that would mean we'd be closer to cars in front, not slowing down way earlier. vehicle up here so they're doing some road work here let me just see what it's gonna do here to try to get over a little close but it actually went around that just fine that was pretty awesome I was expecting it to come to a full stop back there and then wait its turn but it, it found a gap and hit it so that was cool Again, it hits the brakes pretty early, and as you can see, there's about a car length in front of us, between this car in front of us here. So it's now inching forward, but I don't understand why it had hit the brakes so abruptly like that. If somebody was behind me, that would might scare them a little bit. But as far as the turns go, the turns have been butter smooth so far. I'm definitely gonna just submit that feedback uh, and follow up with an email later just regarding the throttle inputs. Again, that seems to be something that they've been trying to tweak, but they still have some, some work to do there.
So I always slow down here just because of the train tracks. And again, it looks like the car just slows down a little bit. It, I wish it would slow down a little bit more when you change the speed control like that, but I think it has something to do with the fact that there's a railroad crossing there and it just wants to get over and through it just as fast as it can. That's it for this drive. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.